Good evening, good evening, good evening. Happy Monday. This is Tiffany, Tiffany, Tiffany S. Burnett. And this is just Tiffany Talks, honey. Let me tell you something. This is a video you're going to want to share tonight because I told you this year, this year, it's all gays, no break no breaks and i'm going to share some of my secrets my secrets because guess what silent moves are the best moves but guess what these moves are verified validated and i wanted to bring people here since we're in black history month people that are doing something in the community they are helping not only by outreach economics you know just giving the knowledge to the community so tonight guys i'm telling you if you ever thought about how those guys you saw on um, um, the Flippy, Flipping Brothers, all that, guy, this guy I have tonight, he, let me tell you something, he has the keys. He has the information. And when I talked on my page about collaboration, having the right conversation at the right time with the right people, and, and creating the right frequency, amazing things happen when you learn how to do what? Listen. When you learn how to listen. See, I listen different because I am different. So since I am different, you're different too because you're not like me. I'm not like you. But guess what? On this platform of Tiffany Talks, we're having real conversations, not only to just help, self-help, self-improvement, to the oppressed. I don't care if you're rich. I don't care if you're poor. I don't care if you're black, brown, orange, or red. It's a place on my platform for you. There's a place for everybody on Tiffany Talks because what you have, I want you to know what you have is something. You have purpose inside of you. So when I talk about that purpose, see, I call myself, you know, I just wanted to be this renaissance woman. When they say, what you want to be when you grow up, Tiffany? I didn't say a particular thing. I just said an uh, action. Like, I want to be a renaissance woman. I want to be a Jill of all trades. And with that trade, I want to learn how to do things. Because what I realized, especially, I talk about this because it's significant. The passing of my father. He was the breadwinner in our family. Even though I was older, I was 25, he was the breadwinner. So he, his income was a big factor in our household. So with his passing, what that made me understand is number one, Tiffany, you need to have income that's residual, residual and not disposable. We'll talk about residuals later, but you need to have something. If something happened to you that it keeps going, you have to know how to do things. If it wasn't for my independent spirit and my father and my parents putting that entrepreneurship spirit inside of me, I would probably be DOA, dead on arrival mentally. But see, someone put something inside of me, said that you can go to the next level. It's not about where you're at, where you've been, where you, what you've been through. Failure is a part of the process. But if you want it, it's yours. If you can see it, it's yours. If you can envision it, it's yours. If you want six figures this year, you can make six figures. You just have to have the right conversation. If you want seven figures, you can make seven figures. You just got to meet the right people. If you want eight figures, I can't tell you where you can go. That's the point. I cannot tell you where you can go, but I can tell you this. I have a man that is going to give you information in investing, real estate. And how did he get into just be this fireball? Because I call him a fireball. Some people are people that you just, you know, you like, dang, they changed the whole atmosphere. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're a thermostat. They're not a thermometer. And this man that I'm going to bring to the stage, Mr. Eddie Felder. First, let me just give you a highlight of what we kind of talking about. So you can go tell a friend, tell a friend that if you in business, if you in business, first of all, your family is a business. Running a family is a business. And then if you want to go a little higher and you want to do a small business, then if you want to fund some projects, change the community, buy back the block, all that stuff, you at the right place at the right time, okay? You at the right place at the right time, talking to the right person. So before, let me just show you who we talk, who we who we have right now.
Now, if you took a glimpse at that, said like um, a billion dollars funded. So, yeah, I told you I, I, I was going to bring the heavyweights this year, the heavyweights. They, 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 they in the back scene, but these are the heavyweights that's doing heavy lifting in the back scenes. See, I don't care about what people doing on the scenes. See, the real action happening on behind the scenes. I'm behind the scenes, you know. So before, I just want to bring my dear, we've turned into definitely, he's my business coach. He um, mentors me in real estate syndication, real estate development. Um, teaching your girl how to acquire much more than I ever probably envisioned, but he pushes me and I just wanted to share with you guys, somebody who definitely has moved me and motivated me to think to a whole nother level. And here goes Mr. Edward Felder. Hi, Eddie. What's going on, Tiffany? <laughs> Listen. I'm in the building. I'm in the in building. The building. Look, I, I'm gonna call my sure you, listen. Everybody gonna have to look at this and, and, and everybody. I'm like, look, y'all just don't even know. I know you have something for us today. Listen, I'm so excited. Listen, we we about to change. It's okay if I just speak in my New York term, my New York slang. Yeah, yeah, we're about yeah. to change for Tiffany talk to. Tiffany gonna shout out. We shouting from the mountaintops, right? Like, get money, right? Get money, <laughs> get the money. Like, no one is here to rescue you. You must be your own rescue. Tiffany, you just said a hundred thousand dollar year. This is the time for your hundred thousand dollar month, and you can still do it. You can still make your $100,000 a month in these last few days. That's what we're going to be talking about. We're going to be talking about finding opportunities hiding in plain sight. Is that okay, Tiffany? Is that That's okay? okay? Mm -hmm. you got so it. get started. Let's go. Because I, I, feel, I feel like church. So since you said that, so he wrote this book. Well, this is, the, I've, I've gotten a few books from Eddie now, Edward Felder. But his first book that he turned me on was the Entrepreneurship Bible, because being an entrepreneur, you need so much encouragement. Like it is not like leveled. And when people was like, I want to be an entrepreneur, I'm like, do you have heart, honey? Do you have heart? Do you have perseverance? Do you have, just do you have it? Because it's not a overnight and anything that you get overnight is definitely not going to be worth getting. But I want to read this. This is in the art of the flu, 21 days to riches. Like this book definitely has changed my life. Um, I was already doing wholesaling, you know, in real estate. And so I wanted to grow my territory. And sometimes I'm like, it, it will be pushing, you know, get on out there, Tiffany. I'm like, no, this is, but it's so amazing to have people that push you beyond where you think you can grow. But he said, um, Joseph Sugarman said, and he put this in his book. Each problem has hidden in it an opportunity so powerful that it literally dwarfs the problem. The greatest success stories were created by people who recognized the problem and turned it into an opportunity. Can you explain that? Listen, opportunity is hiding everywhere. Let me tell you a story first, Tiffany. Years ago when I had, um, I started out in banking and I started buying properties. I was doing really well. I was buying in all in these select areas, which I knew were going to be hot spots because I was doing homework. And I'll talk to you about that later on, how we did the homework. I had just one beautiful property. Well, it wasn't so beautiful, you know, but I'm beautiful property. Every month, first of the month, I'm pulling up to drive in and get my rent money. Craziest mm -hmm. thing, whenever I pulled up, all my tenants took off out the back door. So I got a six on it, never came out with money. But watch this here. Watch this here. And as I pulled up, my neighbors took off, my tenants took off, the neighbors from the surrounding community would come, right? And they were like, rent man, rent man, rent man. I'll cut your grass. For $25, no problem. Rip man, rip man, rip man. Your trees just just terrible. I'll cut back your trees. $50. Rip man, rip man, rip man. You have all the stuff spoiling. The rats that come on your property. 50 bucks. Rip man's get 
listen, I'm not picking up a penny, right? But everyone in the neighborhoods eating off me. Eventually, I got tired of that. Pro I thought it was going to be amazing, the property, because word was there was going to be a billion-dollar project two blocks away, right? So I had the five-unit and had a vacant lot. Sell the property. I'm happy. My then wife is happy. All done with it. A few weeks later, I eventually go to an outdoor mall where they were selling fruits and vegetables. I go into the place, and lo and behold, there is a bunch of fruit there. I'm like, what is that? It was uh, a mango. A mango, Tiffany. So what I was paying people to clean up and rake as junk, right, was literally mangoes that people in the, in the village were selling for $2 a pop. They were ginormous. I was a city slicker. I was from the Bronx. All I knew about was concrete and weeds. I didn't know about, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that story lets me know and everyone else know there's always going to be opportunities hiding in plain sight, right? Mm -hmm. So just like in the urban community, we tell people, black people, it's okay to say black people, color folks, black people own nothing but, listen, what they own in the community is they have a, a, a Dr. Martin Luther King street, a lot Dr. Martin Luther King plaza, a Dr. Mm -hmm. Martin Luther, if they fancy, they have a Dr. Martin Luther King rec center, but what? That's the only thing we own. We don't own right. bodegas. We don't own hotels. We don't own gas stations, right? Mm -hmm. We are people who everyone else, watch this, from outside the community come and see value added opportunities and they pounce on it, right? Mm -hmm. And it's not so much, it's, can, can we, can we, it's okay if I say this? To, mm -hmm. to own a hotel, it's, it's it real, take, real conversation. It doesn't Let's take go. a PhD. It doesn't take a PhD. No, it doesn't it take an MBA. It doesn't take a CPA. Listen, it doesn't take a CNA, a CNA right? Mm -hmm. It doesn't take a uh, uh, a BS or uh, uh, what's it, the associate degree. Listen, all you all that is required is that you have a green card. That's it. That's the only educational requirement to buy a hotel. Oh, and if you work to the front desk for two or three years, I could probably get you qualified to buy a $5 million hotel. Isn't that something? And watch this. 65% of the hotels in the United States are owned by people from India. Right? So it's over 20,000 people of Indian descent that own hotels. Right? And 65% right. of those people come from one town in India. It's 1.3 people in, in India, right? And 65% come from one town and they come to America. And the only thing they really do, they specialize in joint venturing versus just complaining. If we pick up nothing else today, we have to focus on joint ventures, right? And say mm -hmm. to South, hey, I am my brother's keeper. Tiffany, when you reconnected with me and you like, I was like, Eddie, you are my keeper. You are my connection. We're going to mm -hmm. explode together. It wasn't like a me, 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 right? It wasn't right. like everyone else. Like, we decided that we are going to eat together. And if we right. can never get that, can you imagine the power, the economic power that we're going to have? So I'm excited just to share tidbits on how, not only how I succeeded, but the knucklehead things that I did when I wanted, you know, I thought everything was about me, right? And it wasn't commune, commune, commune coming together. Right. To win. Right. Exactly. Exactly. So when you say that, so you said, okay, to do what you're doing, you just say it to own us. Okay, let me back this up for the people because you know you get that New York swag, you start talking, and they like, wait a minute, he just said that I can own a six million dollar property. Without having any qual like any 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 titles behind you, you just have to have the right conversation and be in the right moment. And then let me tell them them too. I've also witnessed Eddie myself because you know you have to verify in 2021. Everybody is doing something, but it has to be verified, right? So let me verify that I actually see. You remember that um property with the Wizard of Oz, and then they end up getting it for like a thousand dollars. The NBA kid. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, that player. Yeah. 
and, and, and just walking and having the right conversations with the right people. So that's why when he's, when he's saying you have to be in, if you're going to be in business, now this did call for my dad. If you're going to be in business for the long haul, you have to do joint ventures unless you're going to work yourself to like, what are you going to work yourself for? You're never going to have a break. You have to learn how to do joint ventures, but you got to have the right conversation with the right people at the right time. So definitely tell us how, 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 how can that even be a person like Tiffany? Tiffany coming. I, I was just a single mom. I just got married. But before that, I started this before that. And how I could just come off, you know, just come off and just say, hey, I want to be a commercial owner and I'm going to have commercial property and I might have to pay my money, but I might not. You know, how does that even work, Eddie? How does because people probably a little lost. They're like, no, no, you know, because I, I want you to tell us how it works. OK, here's the first thing. I don't care whether you have money. That's number mm -hmm. one. I don't care if you have credit, number two. What I mm -hmm. do care about, if you are able to identify value-added opportunities. Let me say that mm -hmm. again. Can you bring value to an opportunity? For example, the property may be beat up and beat down. It may be a single-family house, right? And everyone mm -hmm. says, you know what? Let's just tear it down. But you know what? You may know that it's residential was residential zone now it's going to be a commercial zoning right so where mm -hmm. it was a single family now it could be an eight family on that same lot right. you don't have to do anything you will find somebody like me and say hey i would love to join venture i have an opportunity to build on a lot right where we can make a million dollars after all expenses are you interested in doing a 50 50 split listen I deal with the homework. I have the I have the property under contract. Do you want to mm -hmm. joint venture with me, Ed? The answer is yes. That's substantial income. That's five hundred thousand dollars to me. You didn't bring right. any money to the table, and right. I would certainly be glad to give you five hundred thousand dollars to either that deal. Right? All mm -hmm. you were able to do is go out and find the opportunity. Let me. Can Can I give some of my tips? Which I don't listen. It's a website called myhousedeals.com. Write that down, please. Myhousedeals.com. Write that down, please. See, I write, write that down. Write that down, please. You can go to that site and you can <laughs> find, you can type in your particular city and state and you can find value added off market properties, thousands of them, right? Then also on that site, you can find thousands of cash buyers, right? So you have people, a thousand people looking for opportunities right here. They have money. You find it, I'll give it to you. Then there's also a thousand people who do private mortgages, not hard money, just Ray Ray, Johnny, who's got retirement money in the 401k. They're willing to invest. They're willing to join venture, to willing to partner with you. All that in one site. And guess how much it costs a month? Zero. Right? So I just gave you an amazing value added opportunity. All you have to do is marry opportunity with the people who look in. For it, you win it. People with money right now, they're looking to make less money and more money. More money. People have, who have money in the bank, they're frustrated that they, their money isn't earning money. So they're mm -hmm. looking for you. They're looking for opportunities, Tiffany. And it's shame on us if we're not doing the basic thing, whether it's going on LinkedIn, finding the big fish, right? And we're not going on uh, Clubhouse. How many of us are on Clubhouse right now? Anybody? How many people on Clubhouse? If you're on Clubhouse, right. put your like, Clubhouse you can, get in, you can get in contact with millionaires and billionaires and just jump on with them. How'd you get started? What are you looking for? So not only are you looking for value-added properties, you, you want to be a value-add to anybody else. Hey, listen, I don't have any money. I don't have any credit. But what I can do, uh, I'm based in Huntsville. I uh, understand Huntsville is a top five market in the country. I can scour the markets for every type of property you're looking for. I understand on your bio that you guys just did five are, apartments, you, five hotels. Can I pause you? They don't think no yes, money. They don't think no money in Huntsville. They don't think no money. Huntsville is, 
Huntsville is one of the top I'm 10 markets. Right they don't right think now. nobody's hunting in Huntsville. No, 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 no. One of the top 10 markets right now. I, it's I, I called know. Days on Market. Days on Market. That means from the time someone lists the property to sell it and it's sold, right? It's like right. seven days, seven to 11 days. Yeah. So that quick. So now as an investor, I'm looking for a hotel. I'm looking for a piece of land that could be developed. I'm mm -hmm. looking for uh, an apartment complex, a gas station. I'm looking for an opportunity. You can say, hey, I see you did a bunch of deals in Birmingham or a bunch of deals in Nashville or a bunch of deals in Chicago or New York. Here we have an amazing opportunity where it, there is a three-year shortage on housing, three to five years shortage on housing. What if I can show you an opportunity I have under contract? Would you want to partner with me? And then shut up. You just brought that person value. Mm -hmm. Right? You are a value add. Just don't ask somebody, can you help me? No, no, no. Bring them an opportunity. Like, what could, can I be your intern? Right? Can I make phone calls for you? What, what can I do for you? Crazy story, Tiffany. I had a guy. He was in France. He spoke no English. His only goal was to come to America to work for one of the top five hedge persons in the country that did had a uh, real estate hedge fund. I met this guy two years ago. So he said, Eddie, I'm 21. He said, all he had enough money for is to get a ticket from France to New York City. Right? Mm -hmm. No excuses. He got to New York City. He rented, he borrowed someone's car and began to Uber for two years. In two years, he learned English. He slept in someone's basement. He learned English. After two years, his English, he had broken English, New York English, right? Mm -hmm. And then he called the person up and said, listen, every day for six months, hey, I want to be a value add. Can I come interview? Right? The same person. He eventually got an interview. Uh, he called every day for six months. Human resources brought him in. He said, thanks for coming in. We no longer have an opportunity for you. Tiffany, watch this. Because he knew what he wanted, because he believed in his dream, because he left France, because he over for two years, because he called that company for six months every day at noon, he had that guy's face plastered on his wall in France. So he's leaving the guy's interview. The guy sat down for one minute, right? Okay, I'm going to bring you in so then you can stop calling me, right? Mm -hmm. He recognized the CEO, the chairman of this hedge fund. This real estate hedge fund. He sees him walking. He bursts into him. He said, your director of human resources has no idea what they're doing. I want to work for you. I want to bring value. I'll, I'll pour coffee. I'll do anything. And he convinced that guy. The guy said, the CEO said, give me your number. Two days later, he calls him up. He brings him back. He said, listen, I'm going to, because of your dedication, because mm -hmm. of your hustle, because of your stick to itiveness, right? Because you're going to bring me value. Here is a certificate where I just paid for six months from the top wow. finance professor for Columbia University. After this mm -hmm. six to 12 month training period, you're going to come back and you're going to work for me. I met him a year later. He says, Ed, I barely speak English, but I could write a check for fifty million dollars for you right now. <laughs> uh, are you listening to me? Yeah, yeah, that part. Like I barely speak English, but I can write a check for how much? <laughs> I had to fifty million. Those, are, and but he said, "Hey, I'll joint venture with you anywhere in the world, just as long as the apartment complex is over two hundred and fifty units to four hundred units." Right. You've got to know what you want. You can't wallow in excuses. you got to go for it. Too many of us, too many of us come up with a phenomenal idea, right? And guess what we say? As soon as you say, I want to own a hotel, I want to buy a block, I want to <laughs> buy a restaurant, right? As soon as we say that, right, watch this. We start saying, oh, I can't do it. It's too expensive. Oh, no one will believe in me. I'll yes. never find it. Blocking your blessing. The Lord just gave you an idea, and there you are blocking your own blessing, scratching it off. And this is why I tell people all the time, Tiffany, you come up with an idea. I don't care how ridiculous it is, right? Go right. to the whiteboard. Go get a whiteboard, right? 
and you write your idea down and it says, wouldn't it be great? These are the 10 words. Wouldn't it be great if I could do this? And shut up. Mm -hmm. No, don't let doubt escape into your mind, right? Mm -hmm. You write that down. Wouldn't it be great if I can buy 10 properties in June? Shut up. Cash. Joint venture. Then you write down right. what would it take for me to do it, right? So now we're not talking about doubts. We're talking about action steps. Boom. I will have to do this. I will have to read. You are the flip. Shameless mm -hmm. plug, right? I, yeah. I, would, I would have to I would have to connect with people. I would have to get my buyers. I have to understand numbers. And you write down the 10, 15 things. And many people get excited, Tiffany, about what we call a, uh, a, a vision party, vision board. I don't really care about that. What I what excites me is a little sticky note that says finished, <laughs> done, completed, yeah, yeah. on to the next one. Yeah. Right? That's yeah. all you need. Yeah. You don't need a whole big right? No, little right. things, little steps, little right. steps, little steps that add value, then you will be a value to yourself. Yeah. I mean, I've seen so many people follow that plan. And do amazing things. It's the little things. Be prepared before the opportunity arrives. Yep. Yep. That definitely you, you, you. So y'all see why I be talking because these are the type of people I have encamped around me that just pours into me. And I'm just listening and I'm soaking it up. Like I'm I'm telling y'all, if y'all didn't. If you didn't get a pen in the pad just to be writing down these tips, this man is on fire. So if you don't get nothing off of this podcast, I'm sorry. But guess what? It's more where that came from. But you have to also invest in where you want to go. Did you not hear me? Invest in where you want to go. So me and this man... You'll see more. You'll see more. We 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 not trying to hold nothing to ourselves. I'm not trying to hold him to myself and be selfish about the opportunity. I'm sharing some of my most secret weapons because guess what? What did you say I should put on the sticky note on the board? Say it again. What Done. Finish. Completed. Joint venture. My hundred thousand dollar month. You go from a hundred thousand dollar month. To a hundred thousand dollar deal, and then over, 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 repeat, over, repeat, over, repeat, over, repeat, over, repeat. Don't eliminate the crabs in the barrel. Yes, you know what? We just had listen. So many of us get turned up, right? Just before COVID, I mean, we were always in the club. Can you imagine every Friday night, brothers and sisters in the club, turn up, top shelf for everybody, right? I'm <laughs> buying out the yeah. buying out the bar. Never did it really come to them and say, hey, now, why not, buy, instead of buying out the bar, why not buy the bar, the real estate, the entire shopping plaza, and the that entire part. community? Buy that the part. neighborhood. It can be done. We have so much wealth. Hey, the, the, the thing that gets me is we get excited about we have a trillion-dollar buying power. That's, that's a sucker's bet. We have a trillion-dollar buying power. That means we're spinning. What those lists means like, okay, these color folks, we know what hair products they like. We know what Nikes they like. We know what mm -hmm. alcohol they like. And now we just market to them. Mm -hmm. I don't care about, listen, they they know our game plan. We have to come together and join venture. Here's a knucklehead move. Like, Tiffany, I'm not all gloss. Let me tell you about a fake tooth floor. So I share this with you, not so your listeners can laugh. But they probably will, but they can learn from it and take and don't make the mistake I did. I'm not sure if I told you, you were in my last master class, Tiffany. Mm -hmm. And I had a gentleman, and this is one of my former interns. I met this guy, Indian guy. He was almost like an intern. I met him at a, a networking. So you got to get out your comfort zone and go network. Mm -hmm. I met this gentleman. He had probably done one or two residential mortgages in his life, right? Really mm -hmm. spanking new. But I connected with him, right? I said, let's go back. And so I, I stayed in contact with him. His father was a CPA. And so he calls me up. Hey, dad has a client who has a, a hotel. He needs finance. Or oh, somebody wants to buy a medical practice. Someone wants to buy a hotel. Someone mm -hmm. wants to buy a gas station. And for seven years, I was making $10,000, $30,000 a pop on his brother, you know, from his clients. 
Right. So I was mm -hmm. I was like the sensei. And he was like the white belt. We eating good. He called right. me over one day after seven years. I'm thinking, OK, mama's about to get another pair of red bottoms, Tiffany. <laughs> right. <laughs> Tiffany might get. Hey, Tiff, you want something like that's a 10, 20, 30 thousand dollar pops with financing. Right. Mm -hmm. One day he sits me in the office and he said, listen. I have an amazing opportunity. I'm like, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? Right. Is it, is it a condo project? What is it? He said, I want you to be our partner. I want you to shut down your office and come join our office. I was insulted. I almost wanted to hit him, right? I mean, it was 500 <laughs> square feet. It was like 300 square feet in the office, Tiffany. Yeah. And I was like, it was like two chairs, 300 square feet. I was like, whose freaking lap am I supposed to sit on? I was insulted. 33% <laughs> of what? Get out of here. So I blew the guy off, right? Yeah. I was a brand. I had been doing this for 15 years. Everyone knew my name. Right? Watch this. Right. Uh, six months later, I'm reading in the paper. Local group buys hotel for three million dollars, sells it, uh, sells it for twenty million dollars. I'm like, whoa! Local group buys fifty million dollar hotel cash, sells for one hundred twenty million dollars. Local group buy. I'm like, who's this local group? Lord Jesus! I think I'm a, if I could just, if I could just get at the hem of that garment, right? Tiffany, audience. Slackers, non-believers, right? Excuse mongers. Come to find out these blessed people that was buying over the last year a billion dollars worth of property were the people I taught, right? I was so much about me, mm. and, and my people never taught people to joint venture, right? Right. I never taught them to, to joint venture. No one taught me. Listen, a million dollars is nice. What a 33% of a hundred million dollars is a whole, whole lot better. <laughs> Tiffany, would you tell would, would you tell our friends now that my guy is now financing Hollywood movies, shopping centers, and everything else you can imagine? Correct? This is the guy I started off. Yeah, I ought to be, you know, decked out a little bit more Man. because I was selfish with what I had, and I thought I was bigger than the opportunity. Joint mm -hmm. what? Nah, now I'm a firm believer of adding value to people, mm -hmm. and uh, and I, I love to join venture. So what what value can you bring to somebody? Right, that's the question. Yep, that that definitely is. Like I told people once, you know what you bring to the table, um, and you know that the competition is not on the outside, but within you're never intimidated by nobody coming to the table because you have a table. You have a table. Okay, could join the table. Put add-ons, like you said, what is 33% of $100 million, right? That's more than $1 million. I guarantee you that. So when we when we think about, um, you know, when you think about collaborations and those things of that nature, you have to definitely look at, you got to look at how I signed 2020. But I think in this generation, you know, sometimes people get so caught on who's got to be in charge whose name, and I'm at the point that I can be definitely in the back. If, you know, we still, we still collecting it. It doesn't, it doesn't matter at this point, you know, long as we do something to change the environment in which we grew up in and we add something to that environment, that's value to me. And people, you know, I constantly try to put around, um, keep myself encamped around those people that identify how valuable people are. People that's in the people business. I'm in the people business. See, I didn't sold stuff and, you know, market this product, brand ambassador over here, but I'm still in the people business. You know, I, I, I never forget that people are people. And, you know, just even going through the ordeal that, you know, I went through this year, I just had to realize I thank those, you know, other people that entrepreneurs or anybody that reached out and said, hey, you know, are you OK? Because even yourself, because you're in the people business, when you're in the people business, you know that people have days that is not always sunny, but you're going to make it when you're in camp around these positive people in your life and you are intentional and do it on purpose like you have to be around people who who see opportunities, you know, not in the people, but around people. You understand? Tiffany. Uh, People do business with people who they know, like, and love, mm -hmm. then they do business. Let me say this again. They got to know you, like you, love you, then they'll do mm -hmm. business with you. If you can get that, when they see you as an expert, so many of us are out here hustling, hustling backwards. Backwards. Hustling backwards. Right. Right now, we are the great 
equalizer, the great equalizer, right? You know what that is? It's called the internet and my cell phone. Like no one's having meetings with billionaires anymore, right? Billionaires are me taking meetings on Zoom, on the mm -hmm. Clubhouse, and on LinkedIn. And if they're right. really cool, some of them are starting off on Instagram right. and then TikTok, right? TikTok, you don't stop. Don't stop, <laughs> right? So now, right. well, you have to have a $100,000 membership to sit down and meet with that hedge fund manager. All you have to have is an iPhone that you borrow from your cousin. Mm, right? Like, literally, you have a background. Like, you are not a... Listen, Tiffany is a brand. If you see the name Edward Felder, the funding guy, you're Robin Hood of Banking. I'm a brand, right? You're not a you're not a wholesaler. You are a brand, and your brand spells where you are. Listen, there are so many people with money right now. You're in Huntsville or in Atlanta. People are retiring. They have hundreds of thousand of dollars. They will lend to you, right? But they don't know that you are a brand. They don't know what you're doing. So, for mm -hmm. example, right? This is how you get people to love you, right? Say, hey, I'm. you, you carve out what you want to do. You're not saying, hey, I want to flip properties. I, that's too much. I want to I wanna be a developer in Huntsville mm -hmm. by Oakwood. Mm -hmm. I want to build four units. Each one of the four units is going to cost $100,000, $150,000 to build. When it's built, it's going to be worth $300,000. And mm -hmm. I'm looking for investors to help me build one after one after one. And I'm going to do it with modular, right? I'm not going all over the place. I became a brand. I'm very concrete. So when you go out to investors, hey, I have an average of $150,000. And because I'm building with the number one modular, I can go from concept to completion of a four unit in 90 days. Look at God. You have lenders that'll be chasing you. You have an investors that'll be chasing you. And oh, by the way, I'm going to give you a 20, 30% return on your money. You keep that money mm -hmm. in the bank right now, you're going to get 0.001%. Right, but you right. invest in me every 90 days, I'm gonna give you 20 30 percent mm -hmm. deal after deal after deal. Right, so you narrow down exactly what you're doing. Right, you, you narrow down. So, I have someone, uh, she was a realtor. I said, You're not a realtor anymore, so you are the queen of queens real estate. Right, so it tells you what she is. She's a queen, she's a female, she's in Queens, she didn't say the whole city, she didn't say the whole country. Queen of Queens of condos. That's it. And condos. So exactly what her brand is. So she had people all over the country calling her about condos in Queens. Be a brand. People mm -hmm. love doing business with a brand. Mm -hmm. That's absolutely right. And so that's definitely, I definitely, guys, I would definitely recommend you guys get this book. This book, this book. <laughs> I have to read it a lot as I'm on my journey in real estate syndication and real estate development. There'll be classes soon and, the, and he will announce those classes when they're coming and I will give you first dibs because guess what? Those seats leave pretty quick because your child could do this. Can your child do this? Isn't this better than giving them a sweet 16 party or a sweet 16 car or anything? Give them something that they can actually do something with. So, Eddie, before we do, you have any lasting comments? Because I'm gonna bring him back, guys. So y'all need we gonna have a part two, but I'm gonna get with the man. The funny. Yes, I'm ready to come back right now. Listen, we family. I'm taking my jacket. I'm not leaving, Tiffany. I'm not leaving. <laughs> hey, here's the thing, though. We have more opportunity in the next seven weeks to seven months than you ever were probably going to have in your lifetime again in the real estate market. There are about 25 people, 25 million people who are facing eviction. There are another 20 million people, right, who mm -hmm. are on the verge of losing their property if it were not for as foreclosure, if it were not for the moratorium. People are desperate. They're looking for a solution. Be their solution. Create your brand. It doesn't take a rocket science, right? Find people. Help them out, right? Find, find where the next opportunity is going and be there. Beat the curve. Tiffany, I mean, I'm so excited. I'm doing more deals than I ever had before. Because we are joint venturing, I have five new construction going on, and I've never been there. I've never right. been there. Exactly. Find me an opportunity, and we'll joint venture. You heard the man, and guess what? We would he heard what you heard what he said. You can inbox me, 
You can, if you want to do a joint venture in Huntsville, if you want to find out more information, inbox for more information. Also, please leave when he gets off the video. I'm pretty sure he's going to put in the comments where you can get his book, where you can get that art of the flip, because that is definitely a book that you can use in your real estate diary as you go along your journey. Journey. I definitely thank you, Eddie. I, I call him Eddie. Well, Edward Eddie. I thank you for coming. And guys, this is where I got the condor story. If you ever heard me talk about the condor, that guy from New York telling me about that, that's him. So <laughs> you understand it's all gas this year. You know, it's definitely time, definitely time, definitely time. Be around the right people at the right time and have the right conversations. Thank you for blessing my platform, Eddie. And thank you for taking the time out to give us some expert advice on how to get funding, and he will be back for part two. Do you have any other closing remarks? Listen, it's time to win, y'all. Listen, I just created an amazing platform for this audience here. I have not shared it with anyone yet. I have one follower on this crazy, cool uh, Facebook page. It's called Black People Buy Property. Black People Buy Property. Every day for the last three weeks, I've been putting on little gems or, of how black people are overcoming and dom not competing, but dominating their market. Please follow me at Black People Buy Property on Facebook. And check this out. If you want to know more about how you can grab our books, I invite you to visit thefundingguide.com. And Tiffany, because I love your audience, because I love you so much and all that you stand for, for everyone who signs up, who calls you, I have an amazing free gift. It's called business, uh, business Credit Made Ridiculously Simple. Again, even if you have bad credit or, or credit like Earthquake says that you have to put in your mama name, call me. I will give you a free audio book on how to get amazing credit and just your business name only. Absolutely. And guys, guess what? The information is very verified and validated. And so thank you again, Eddie. We'll see you again on this platform. And we're definitely, definitely talking to another level. That was just an introduction and I'm going to bring them back. Thank you so much. Guys, this has been another Tiffany Talks. I told you this season, we're going to do things. We're not just going to talk about it. We're going to be about it this season. 2021, we have so many opportunities. We have, you know, the world is changing. You have an African-American vice president. And you don't just want to look at people and look at what they're doing in history. You can also be a part of history. What are you going to do for your family? What are you going to do this year that's so amazing that your children, your grandchildren is going to look back and say it? My, my mother, my father, whoever, uncle, aunt, whatever, fought for my family to change the surface of my family. I'm not just telling you what you should do in the world. I'm telling you what you should do in your home. We have the power to change our lives, but you have to assess that power. And I tell you, you are special enough. You are enough. Whatever you're going through, you're going, if you're looking at me, you're definitely going to make it through and don't let anybody tell you what you cannot do. Because if you believe it, you can definitely do it. This is your girl, Tiffany S. Burnett, where real conversations are happening and you are a part of the conversation. And we're keeping it real all 2021 because we're not just changing lives, honey. We're telling stories too. So I'm glad for Edward Felder. If you want to play replay, share that video. And guess what? Like my YouTube channel. Tiffany Talks, Real Conversations, Real Tiffany Talks. Also, Anchor, I'm on Real Tiffany Talks. I'm on seven different platforms, Spotify, Apple. Just type in Real Tiffany Talks, hashtag Tiffany Talks, where real conversations are happening. And they're not happening without you. Thank you for tuning in, guys. And you will have another moment. And I'll see you back on Wednesday night. Bye.